What is going on, guys? Adam here at Hound of Hell Gaming. So we're on to the next episode of Spider-Man Remastered. Uh, we're going through with mainly the main missions. I'm not showing you all the side stuff unless it's something exciting or fun. Um, there might be a bit here and there, but the majority of it I'm just going to cut out. I'm going to try and make this as interesting as possible. Um, and just show you the good bits, basically. So we're on our way to the next uh, big mission. So let's see what that's got in store for us. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking! Noted. Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Move, move, move! So as a kid growing up watching Spider-Man all the time, reading the comic books, you know, you've got Vulture, Shotcock, Scorpion and Rhino. Those are the main ones that were always there. Those are the ones that, they're not the best, they're not the brightest, they're not the strongest, but they're always there or thereabouts. They're always involved in something. So fighting Shocker for me is fantastic. It's uh, a blast from the past. No pun intended. like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. So not quite what I was expecting. I thought that it'd be a bit uh, longer and harder than that. It was a bit easier, to be honest. Like might not be the last we see of him, I guess. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now.
Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I could patch these shoes. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. So Martin Lee giving off the creepy vibes with good reason. I would have thought the spidey sense might have... Uh, Triggered a little bit, you know, being around him and him talking in such a threatening way, passive aggressively. Maybe not. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. So this is an aspect of all games that I can't stand, upgrading things and all the little gadgets and all the rest of it. I don't, just don't like it. I don't know why. I've just never been a big fan of it. I would rather just start a game with whatever I've got and just go from there. Uh, you know, this is meant to be an established Spider-Man. This isn't Spider-Man that's just become Spider-Man. So you would think that he would have most of the gadgets, not starting with just the webs. Like, I don't. I don't quite understand that, to be perfectly honest. Requested for a pursuit in progress. Mobilize that Dutch now. Bounce side. 
Possible narcotics sale. Officers needed in Little Italy. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. So have you seen more than usual amount of, like, the towers or... The backpacks and things like that. It's because there's a dialogue somewhere in there um, with an important character. Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Last Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget. I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? So we're on our way to the next mission, going to speak to Dr. Octavius. Let's go see what's going on there. alarm you think of what you want it to do and yes <laughs> hey hey what do you think you're doing this site's been declared a safety hazard stop that right now this is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? 
I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away? Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Norman Osborn. They're never going to do a good version of Norman Osborn. It's just one of them people that you just love to hate. Absolute scumbag. Not sure what I'm doing with my camera out here still. I always forget and start swinging away. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, is there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables? Now I can do some real damage. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. If you ask nicely, maybe. Quit now, you're all good. You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. No. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Herman. Just tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. So that's much more like it for Shocker. This is way harder than the previous one. And this is why. So let's try and get him taken down as fast as we can. 
before he takes down the bank. This one's gonna hurt. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even Johnny Gargoyle people could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? These mask guys, what do they want the money for? Don't know, don't care. As soon as I finish the job, I'm gone. Okay, catch this one with your face. yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden okay Yuri shockers all yours now good work we have a special cell waiting for him at the raft we'll make sure he stays behind bars this time also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. That was really hard to take him down. Especially the bit where you had to tap square. That was not easy whatsoever. Um, messing with the suits as much as possible. Keeping it fresh, like I said on the previous episode. Um, yeah, so let's go and what can we do? Let's see. Well, let's see what we've got about here. And possibly there'll be something decent to do. We got this fight. No, we'll just finish this tower and then we'll call it quits for this episode for today. As I've said before, I don't want this to be too long. I want this to be more enjoyable. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. See you later.